Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the report from Tiger Mountain. Yes, we're back from holidays, and we're going to talk about the artist Vincent Namangira versus uh, Jenna Reinhardt. Stick around and listen to, not to tonight's controversial report. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the uh, Aboriginal artist Vincent uh, Nat Yamajira, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, versus Gina Reinhardt. Um, obviously, there's a portrait that, done by that artist of Gina, um, which uh, Gina Reinhardt doesn't like, and Gina would like to have it removed from the gallery. And uh, look, you know, I want to say at the outset here, I'm not a huge fan of Gina Reinhardt. I'm an economic nationalist. I believe that the resources uh, that Australia has, and we have... Um, incredible resources in this country should be used uh, for the people of Australia. I don't mind that if people mining them get wealthy and some of them will probably become billionaires but we don't need them to become mega billionaires or whatever the way uh, the obscene amount of money that she uh, has uh, made for herself. Uh, a country like Norway put a basic tax on, re on its resources from people who mined it and, it, and has built a vast resource. Um, you know, you could practically not tax people in this country if you would appropriately tax, for example, the uh, iron ore that was removed from Australia, for example. Anyway, look, that's another issue uh, we don't want to get into, but I, I'm just saying I'm not a huge fan of Gina Reinhardt. What I did want to say is I wanted to look at the artwork of Vincent N Namangira. I thought, well, okay, she wants this artwork removed, I'll go take a look. And I thought, that, that's, a, that's a really terrible picture. But I thought, well, okay, maybe this, uh, the rest of this guy's artwork is interesting. But I went and had a look at, you know, a whole bunch of his work online. And let me tell you, it is terrible. I've never seen a worse artist that is in, um, you know, like a, like a national gallery or a state gallery. Um, you know, why are we celebrating this art that looks like it is um, the the work of a of a of a child with severe um disabilities you know what i mean like this is exactly what it's like it, it's it's hopeless and um you know you, you just you, you think you know there's only one reason that this artist art is in the gallery and it's because he is aboriginal you know what i mean and this is i know it's all got to do with like diversity equity and inclusion and all this bullshit but like you know it it, it is it is terrible. Now, I, I don't want to pick on this, this Aboriginal gentleman. I mean, I do believe in Australia there's always been the saying you should be kind to the Aborigines. Now, I'm somebody who subscribes to that. And if I were to go to the local church hall and see the work of this Vincent Yamajira, I'd probably think, well, good on him. You know what I mean? It's in the church hall, at the local, I don't know, the local uh, charity or the local uh, whatever... Uh, Brotherhood of St. Lawrence or whoever has decided to help out some hopeless local artist, I would probably be encouraging of this artist and say, stick, stick to it, who knows? Maybe one day you'll, you, you'll be, uh, you know, Vincent Van Gogh or somebody, I don't know. But no, um, the fact that this person's art is put into the National Gallery, into the State Gallery, is patently ridiculous. Um, you know, it, it, the artwork is moronic. Um, you know, he's won an Archibald Prize, and I think this does... You know, it doesn't do the Aboriginal community any favours when you take uh, an artist whose work is so terrible, um, like this Vincent Yamajira, and to promote him as like some representation of Australia and the Aboriginal people, you're doing the Aboriginal community no favours. This artwork is atrocious. I studied aesthetics at university, and almost every aesthetic metric you can think of um, you know, the work is bordering on the work of somebody who's retarded. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. So I can actually understand the problem Gina Reinhart has. I don't understand why it's being promoted so, uh, you know, straight through the roof. So that's all I wanted to say, you know what I mean? Um, I think it's just patently ridiculous that we have to, uh, you know, put up with the work, you know, of, of this artist. And, you know, I've seen, I've been to these exhibitions and galleries because I'm actually somebody who studies culture, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you find that, uh, you know, not, not much of a surprise. But I go to the contemporary art galleries, I go to the National Gallery, and I sometimes see Aboriginal art, and I just think, this is just terrible. I'm not saying all of it is. Some of it is good, some of it is interesting, but a lot of it is terrible. It seems like a huge amount is just promoted way above its station, and that's what I think is going on with this um, you know, artist. I'm going to put it in inverted commas there, because I don't think he's an artist. I think it's so hopeless that he's not an artist. His name is Vincent Yamanjera. And I hate to say it, I'm on Jenna Reinhardt's side. I, I think this should be removed. Uh, but if it wanted to be uh, placed at the you know local uh, Rotary Church Hall, I think that is the appropriate place for it because it's it's amateurish. Uh, it's um, you know 
it's just, uh, you know, hopeless. And uh, that's all I've got to say tonight on the report from Dugger Mountain.